Hello, this video is to show you how a librarian could find audiobooks about the Civil War. The first play, a place they could start is on Goodreads. They could find print books and then uh, from those print books go and look for audiobooks and the recommendations and reviews. So here I am on Goodreads. We are in the Listopia, which can be found uh, in the Browse tab, just click right over here and come down and click on the lists. So here in the Listopia, to look for books on the Civil War, you could click in the search bar, put in Civil War here, or what we're going to do is we're going to come down here, scroll down here to this Browse by Tag. We're going to click on history right here. So then in here there's a bunch of lists of history books with uh, different subjects and stuff. So we're going to scroll down to find one on the Civil War. Let's see. And there it is, right here. Best American Civil War Books. So let's go and look in here. Okay, as you see, there's a bunch of options. Um, realistically, a librarian would probably go through each of these to start looking for uh, material. Uh, I'm going to look for some books that I recognize and that I've heard of. So let's let's see. Okay, this one right here, The Widow of the South. I have heard of that one, so let's click on that and check it out. Okay. So as you see, there's the rating details here. It does only have a 3.76. That's not too bad. That's kind of a an average average rating. Uh, that would have to be something a librarian would have to consider looking back at their collection development policy if they would a rating of this would be acceptable. This also, I believe, is a pretty popular book, so the rating may just be ignored. Um, but what we want to do is we want to look for a professional review of there's an audiobook on this book. So let's go to Audiophile Magazine over here. So over here on Audiophile Magazine, we're going to hit this search here. We're going to type in The Widow of the I know there's those suggestions there, but I'm just going to hit enter. Okay, so we have two results here. We have an unabridged and an abridged. Let's look at this unabridged first. Okay, so here is the review on that. As you can see, you read this here. There's this last sentence here that says, but the listener's mind will wander. So it seems the overall review here does not sound so great. So this may not be the best option to get. Uh, let's take a quick look at the uh, abridged version. Let's go back here. Okay, there's the abridged. Let's see. Here's this review. 
this also seems to not be the greatest review. So it does not seem either one is a great option. But once again, this is where the librarian would have to make the final decision based on criteria from the collection development policy. Um, let's go ahead and try to look at one more book from the Goodreads list. Let's go back here, find one more to look at. Let's see. April 1865. That is a book I read in a class. Let's take a quick look at that. And this is also different from The Widow of the South. That was fiction. This one is nonfiction. So let's see an audiobook on, on this. And this is also rated on Goodreads 4.14. That's better than The Widow of the South. Let's see over here. Back in our search. April. 1865. Okay, let's see this. Ah, this one is read by the author. Let's see. So here is this review. This one also is kind of rough. It says that the narrator has ruined his own book. <laughs> so, once again, it does not, it seems the audiobook is not the greatest quality, so it may not want to be bought. But this is a good, both of these are good examples to show that it's a long process. It can be a long and complicated process to find the right material for your collection. And once again, it all hinges on making sure to stick to the criteria in the collection development policy. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and learned something. Uh, thank you. Bye.